Hey, yo, in the world of anime, there's a lot of bad fathers, okay? I mean, it's to the point where they make Joe Jackson look like the Virgin Mary. And that's saying something, because bro was straight up treating his household like the Royal Rumble. I mean, bro was out here really beating the soul into his kids, but that's neither here nor there, okay? Let me get back on track. You see, there are a lot of bad dads in anime, so today, ladies and gentlemen, I've decided to round up some of the most devious, menacing anime fathers to ever exist and rank them on a scale of deadbeat, starting from a D-tier deadbeat dad all the way to an S-tier. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, I give you Exhibit A, Shao Tucker from Full Metal Alchemist. Now, if you're familiar with Full Metal Alchemist, then you already know that Shao Tucker is one of the worst anime dads to ever exist. And I'm not gonna lie off rip, he seemed like a good dad. You know, he was just a single father taking care of his daughter Nina after their mother ran away and abandoned them. Or so you thought. You see, I knew this man Shao was up to no good as soon as his glasses started to look shiny, okay? Like, if there's one anime trope that y'all should know, it's that if a character has shiny glasses, that can mean one of two things. Either that character has a 300 IQ or they're a menace to society. And well, when we meet up with Shao again, we find out exactly which one of those he is. So to give y'all some context, this man Shao was an alchemist and to keep his certification to keep doing alchemy, he had to continuously advance in his field, which he was struggling to do. So instead of being a normal person and you know just working hard to improve in your field, this man was so damn bad and so desperate that he straight up turned his own daughter into a dog. Oh my god, I can't, I just can't, okay? How do you turn your sweet precious daughter into a dog that looks like it belongs at a My Chemical Romance concert? Look, if I'm being honest, I'm not even mad that this dude turned his own daughter into a dog, okay? But my guy, you couldn't at least give her a fresh cut? You got her out here looking like Neji with that mop on her head. And taking all of that into consideration, Shao Tucker gets a deadbeat dad rating of an S. I'm sorry. Can we play now? Can we play now? I feel like if we're talking about deadbeat dads in anime, then this next person has to be on the list, okay? Ladies and gentlemen, Exhibit B. Endeavor from My Hero Academia. This man Endeavor is the definition of a bad father, okay? I mean, he did us only had kids because he couldn't reach the rank of number one hero. And instead of doing what you think a hero would do in this situation and, you know, encourage and train your kids to become the best hero, this man decided to use fear to mold them into the heroes that he wanted them to be. And by that, I mean he beat the hell out of his daughter, his sons, and his wife. Like, bro, I'm surprised that no one called child services on this nigga. I mean, he got so bad to the point where his wife attacked Todoroki because of all the trauma that his dad caused her and the fact that he remembered reminded her of his father. And I'm not gonna lie, after this I thought he redeemed himself a little, you know? Cause after Todoroki was attacked by his mom, this man Endeavor got her out of there quick. But nah, the only reason bro even cared was because he saw his son as his property, and he saw that this bitch was fucking up his property. Bro was straight up treating his son like a car that this bitch just keyed up after a bad breakup. I mean, let's just take a second to look at this man's track record, okay? His oldest son Toya straight up ran away from home, faked his death, and became a super villain with the sole purpose of offing his dad. He beat the brakes off his daughter Fuyumi and didn't even train her because she was a girl and he thought her quirk wasn't strong enough. And his middle son Natsuo hates him because he feels like he broke his family apart and doesn't even talk to him anymore. And this nigga's youngest son literally refused to use his fire quirk because of the resentment he had towards his dad and all the horrible things that he had done to him and his family. So taking all this into consideration this man endeavor gets a deadbeat rating of an a you're acting disgracefully shoto now next up ladies and gentlemen we have our honorable mention and i know it's not from an anime okay so i'm gonna keep it short for y'all but this man deserves to be on this list <clears throat> Omni Man from Invincible. Now, I'm already gonna talk about this show in its entirety on a different episode on this channel, but today we need to talk about this man, Omni Man, okay? Because this shit is crazy. This dude's track record is off the scale, man. He really out here redefining the word deadbeat dad. Not only did he just stand there and watch his son get straight up bodied by this lion, nigga, I mean, his son was on the brink of death. But my man's Omni Man personally gave his son the ass whooping of a oh lifetime. God. Like, if they had a kid whooping Olympics, this man, Omni Man, would win by a landslide, and instead of celebrating, he would just whoop some more ass. I mean, he really left his son looking like freddy krueger in the face and to make things worse this man should have tortured his son who was just trying to save people bro was really out here like oh you think he should live <laughs> him too <laughs> okay i'm done you get it now psych Look, there is so much more I could say about Omni-Man and his Menace to Society Chronicles, but I don't want to make this video too long, so comment down below if you guys want to see an Invincible Hood classic on this channel. But without further ado, Omni-Man gets a deadbeat rating of an A. What's 17 more years? I can always start again. Make another kid. Dad, look at me. Think back and talk to me. And finally, finally, ladies and gentlemen, we have the worst anime dad to ever exist. This man makes the other dads on this list look like saints. Ayo, hey, mental abuse? Check. 
Physical abuse? Check. Abuse abuse? Double check. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm talking none other than Exhibit D. Gambino from Berserk. Man, I don't even know where to start with this man Gambino. Bro, that has took guts in just to train him to be a warrior and he ain't show him no fatherly love or mercy when training him. I won the entire reward. The meat. Huh? Bring it to me now! Hey, oh. Like this nigga was going all out against this kid trying to toughen him up and no matter how many times Guts tried to show his gratitude towards him, he just didn't care. But what makes Gambino the worst type of dad is the fact that he deadass tried to off this man Guts in his sleep. My man wasn't even trying to give bro a fair chance, controller dead and everything and he's still whooping his ass. And the cherry on top of all this is this man literally sold his son into slavery and the master that he sold him to was uh... Let's just say 445 if you know what I'm saying. You see, Guts always saw Gambino as a father figure as soon as he took him in, but Gambino never once saw Guts as his son, but instead a tool that he could use and toss away at a moment's notice. So taking all of this into consideration, Gambino gets a deadbeat rating of an S. You kill her. She's <laughs> To be honest, there's a lot of anime dads that I could add to this list, like Grisha Yeager, Rasa, and Gendu Akari, but I don't want to make this video too long. So in conclusion, happy Father's Day. Yo, my guy, Father's Day was yesterday. What are you talking about? <laughs>